Welcome to a series of videos about designing websites focusing on HTML and CSS. There are 15 videos in all of which this is obviously the first one, the introduction and how this works. Uh, we will conclude with HTML5 and CSS3 before we move on to web servers. Web servers are not an essential part of HTML nor CSS and actually is the first step into moving to server based languages rather than what we're using at the moment. There is a third language called JavaScript which works very closely with HTML and CSS and that comes under a separate series of videos. Okay very first question we ever get asked, what is HTML? Well, it's simply answered by hypertext markup language. Um, and that answers every single one of your questions, yeah, apart from any of them. Um, basically, the most important thing to remember with HTML is that it's about content. It's about the text and the images that exist on the web page. It is not about the way something looks. If you're changing the way the font looks, if you're trying to make something bold, italicize, if you move something left or right, uh, if you're using HTML, you've gone wrong. Don't do it. HTML is about the text, the images. It will deal with moving between pages. But aside from that, it's about content. The other language is CSS. Again, we have a flash term, cascading style sheets. Uh, cascading style sheet it actually is quite explanatory, but unless you know what we talk about style sheets, you don't really understand what the cascading part is. These are about the way things look. It's about the presentation. It's about the layout, the colors. Background, textual, colors of a box. Uh, the font face being used, the size of the font, if it's bold, italicized, underlined, anything. All and every feature of the way a web page looks should be done through CSS. Sometimes you'll write CSS that is longer than it would have been if you'd have written it in some HTML. You'll see some people say, oh, use this piece of HTML. Even if that's the case, do not use the HTML. Uh, HTML is being moved away from having any form of presentation tools. All you have to do is look at the history of HTML to see how we've shifted much more away from using HTML for styling and using CSS about the way things look. Do remember that. Okay, so how does this whole thing work? Well, you may or may not be aware of uh, the structure, so let's have a look at this. Uh, this is you and your computer. Well, clearly you're not there, but your computer is, and I've got to admit, uh, congratulations, it's looking very flash. Um, your computer, you're sitting there, and you want to get a web page. Now, you're probably aware that when you do so, you're connecting via the World Wide Web um, to another computer somewhere else. Actually, you're using something called the Internet to connect to this other computer. That other computer is called a web server. That's because it's serving you web pages. So a web server is a, a server computer that is serving you pages designed with web-based languages on them. Now this particular web server runs for a website called www.anysite.com. So let's say that you're at home and you find that that's a really important site. You So you type that into your browser. Your browser is much more important than most people understand. It makes a request. It sends a request to web, the web server of that address. That web server then will take that request and will return to your computer a small text file. That small text file contains HTML and CSS, possibly some JavaScript. Your computer will take that and your browser will read that and then understand what to do. And it is only a text file. Let's have a look at an example of some of this code. This is some HTML, there is some JavaScript, and there is some CSS. Um, if we have a look, most of this is HTML, but we have here a reference to CSS. You can see the dot CSS. Uh, this is a way of linking a CSS, a cascading style sheet, to an HTML document. Don't worry if that's all confusing, it's all going to become clear later. 
down the, this lower part here where it says script and then this slash script uh, all of this is what we call JavaScript we're not doing that that's in another series of videos but most of the rest of this is to do with HTML uh, some things that are worth noting style equals and then I've got all this stuff written in here that's CSS that's an example of CSS and you can see there's three parts of that doing virtually the same thing um, the style tells us that but the style is actually an HTML command that tells it it's going to be dealing with CSS so your computer receives this kind of file that's what your browser has asked for and when it receives that it's then that your browser goes through this file line by line looking to say okay what do I do here what do you want me to do um, if it makes a reference to a picture and there is that's not quite a picture but this one here resources general f cover slash f cover dot swf the computer will know that it's got to go off and go and get that file and load it up this is what's called a swift file um, it's something called flash and it's something that is slowly dying out and that's something that we'll be looking at much later on so this is HTML and CSS, a bit of JavaScript. This is the kind of thing you're going to be writing. And once you've written all of this, your web pages will start appearing and it will look all very, very clever. Okay, that's the end of the first video. Uh, thank you very much. And I hope to see you on the second video, except that obviously I won't be seeing you because that would be weird.